Hey guys, we recently released a video about the Toyota car factory in Toyota, Japan, and also another video about the Toyota Car Museum in Nagoya, Japan, and it attracted lots of questions and comments from people, including questions about the history of the Toyota Motor Company. So we thought those people might be interested in this. Here's a representation of the Toyota family home from the 1860s. And here is the Toyota family home from the 1930s. Toyota spelt with a D, not with a T, as the car company is. Toyota was the family who founded the Toyota Motor Company. So in 1974, to commemorate, commemorate the making of the Toyota's 10 millionth vehicle, the Toyota Motor Company built this place here to show the history of the Toyota family and the company itself. So the Toyota Car Museum shows the history of the manufacturing of the cars. This sort of goes back a little bit further and it'll also a bit more of a focus on the people involved. So as always with anything built by the Toyota Motor Company, it's a pretty spectacular place. Huge grounds, acres and acres, hundreds of acres. There's a bust of Mr. Toyota. So, Sakichi Toyota was born 1867, and his thing was weaving looms. He was a bit of a specialist in making weaving looms, and started making automatic or electric or mechanical, they're all mechanical, aren't they? Electric looms in the 1890s, and then after that his son came along, born in 1894, and he's the one that ended up founding the Toyota Motor Company. So their company first was doing looms. That was their specialty at first. So here's a loom that they made 1896 maybe. It was an electric loom. Which is interesting, we released a video recently, didn't we, showing a manual loom being operated by an older lady so this is sort of a follow-on from that too and here's a award-winning one he made uh, 1920 or something like that and apparently it was a really famous one because it was a really good one lots of innovations involved apparently he, involved, he included all sorts of clever things that made it easier to use made it more efficient and made it do a better job and then in another part of the building, there's this big exhibition room, which has some interesting exhibitions, and on the walls there, the history, starting with the 1800s and the looms, and then coming up to the present day. So again, the car museum that we already showed you had the history of the cars. This is more about the history of the people involved, so the family themselves plus the people around them. And a bit of the cars too, but most fo mostly the focus is on the people involved. So if you only have a limited amount of time in Japan or a lim lim limited amount of time in Aichi, probably the car museum is the place to go or the factory. But if you have a bit of extra time, this is interesting too. This is a representation of where they bought a 1933 Chev from America took it into a warehouse and stripped it down into little pieces to find out how it was put together. So this is how they learnt, they all got their first ideas on how to build a Toyota car was by pulling down a 1933 Chev. So it's interesting isn't it that there's no secret about that. Uh, that's quite a classic way that Japanese business is done or Japanese companies over the years have done that, that they'll find an idea that somebody else has already made, have a really close look at it and then make quite what what is quite often a better version so there's more Toyotas sold around the world now than there is Chevs so they've sort of won won out in that competition a bit and that's typical they did the same thing with computers and they've done the same thing with lots of things like that where they've picked these things up this is interesting it's uh you can sit and watch the video and just push which button which language you want so there was English and Japanese and Korean and might have been Chinese. Sort of like being at the UN, put your headphones on, push the button, you can hear whatever language it is that you prefer. 
there's him and his friends climbing Mount Fuji so all sorts of sort of personal type photos it's sort of interesting so it's sort of an interesting place and it gave us those answers to those questions people have been asking, asking so that worked out well so the rest of the grounds huge absolutely huge so it's got a few little things it's sort of like an afternoon out afternoon in the park sort of thing if you go to this place there's a few things there to look at quite a pleasant afternoon in the sun little zoo no need for us to say that's a deer is there that's a deer next is an ostrich <laughs> but we'll show you the animals it's good to show we like with things like this to show you as much as we can about these places because the people are actually coming to Japan sometimes we think these videos will help them decide whether or not they want to make the trip because this place is outside Toyota City it's a bit of a, a bit of a, a drive on the bus so it would be it would be at least an afternoon to spend out there doing this so people can decide for themselves once they've seen this if they if they want to go out there and, and do this or not so that's why we show you as much as possible because we figure that helps people decide whether they're interested in these things or these places Very cute. Definitely, if it's good weather, it's a good place to go. It was quite nice. Now it's getting towards the end of winter, and it was a sort of a, a warm sort of day, about 12 degrees Celsius, so it was quite pleasant. Out in the sun, looking at the critters. sunroom <laughs> so we put for those of you who have your annotations turned on we'll put a link at the top of this page that'll take you to the English friendly directory where we'll put some more information on there about this place for those of you who are interested in going there and we'll also put a link in the description of this video below which apparently does disappear sometimes that description now we need to click the about button I think it's the about button underneath the video that, that brings up the description that gives you the links and things. So we'll put a link down there and we'll put a link on the top of the page if your annotations are turned on and we'll also put on the English friendly directory under attractions, attractions themes park, Aichi, Aichi Ken. This is sort of random, they're just an old train they'd put in the park. We did a video on the train museum, a very spectacular train museum in Nagoya Port in Aichi and a lot of old trains. So those of you who haven't seen that, it's on the Wheels Wheels in Japan playlist. But we just thought we'd show you this one because it's sort of a nice old thing. Lots of wood. Something interesting about being in an old train that has wood everywhere, wooden floor. Interesting, isn't it? The crossover between the modern technology of the engines and so on and the still using wood in the structure sort of interesting isn't it and this is just a what do they call this amusement area relaxation area relaxation area I think they called it just a big space basically next to the lake very old lake apparently built by an old lord 400 years ago or 500 years ago that lake anyway there it was hope you found it interesting and the links are there if you guys want more info on that place more videos coming soon